Hey guys, Mark Jepson here from Manage by Stats. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our Keyword Scout tool. This is a reverse ASIN tool where you can punch in a competitor's ASIN or a top ranking product and it'll show you what keywords it's ranking for. I'll use a top seller in silicone spatulas. I'll put in the ASIN up here and click find keywords. Okay, so let's go through all these features up here real quick. This is a reset button. If you want to start your search over, simply click it and it'll reset the tool to its default view. Next is a history button. If you have other products you've searched before, you can view those searches again here. Next, we have an area where you can enter competing product ASINs to the ASIN entered above. You can click this drop down, and it'll show you competing products as well, which you can select and add to your results. So we'll click on show results. Now it's going to be adding keywords from the ASIN you entered as well as any competitor ASINs entered or selected. Next we have a quick view of the ASIN you searched. You can click on this and open it up in Amazon if you want. And here you can see keyword frequency, which is basically how many times these words actually show up in the search results down here. Next we have sorting filters for each column. These are going to help you zero in on exactly what you want to go after. The first one here is searching or filtering by keyword. You can include or exclude certain keywords like this. And now you can see the results adjusting to these filters. So let's add a few of these in several of these columns and let's narrow down the results. So now I'm down to this many keywords. We can then sort these columns as well. The second column is keyword rank which is Amazon search frequency rank. This is the numeric rank of a specific search terms popularity when compared to all other search terms during a given time period. So as this is rank and not search volume, the lower number is going to be the higher rank. So number one would be ranking the best. And this goes all the way down to the top million keywords. Okay, next we have position. This is what position the ASIN is showing up on in an Amazon search. So it's like the third or the fifth product on the page. That's its position. And if we have competitor ASINs being compared to the ASIN entered at the top, we can see what position the primary ASIN is in compared to the top position of the competitors, as well as the average position of all competitors. All right, next we have number of competitors. This number of competing products is how many other products are competing for those keywords. They're, they're showing up for those keywords in an Amazon search. So you can kind of look at this and see if there's a keyword opportunity to go after where there's maybe not a lot of competitors. Next is age of data. This shows how recently we collected data on that keyword. Our system updates the data on the top million keywords every two to three weeks. If a keyword drops below the top million, it does not get updated and the age will then be longer than two to three weeks and so is marked as old. Okay, so that's age of data. Next we have word count, which is simply how many words are in the keyword search term. This is good to use if you wanted to go after long tail keywords when starting off your ranking efforts, etc. Once you've zeroed things down with these filters, the next thing you can do is go through the keywords and if they don't apply to your product, you can simply click on this X here to get rid of them. All right, so we've zeroed down our list to just have the keywords that we feel are applicable to our product. Now we can then move these over to the next tool, which is Distiller. The Distiller tool enables you to narrow down the list of keywords even more, removing duplicates, numbers, single letters, or common words, etc. You can also send them directly to Wordsmith, which is where you can add keywords into your listings so they're optimized for best search results on Amazon. And you can also copy them to the clipboard if you wanted to paste them elsewhere. And you can also export them as a CSV file. So that covers all the main features of the Keyword Scout tool. Uh, we hope you like it and you can use it to uh, optimize your products faster.